Good morning, Warren Tech students and staff. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Warren Tech students and staff. I'm Matt Blar. And I'm Brittany Duca. And these are your warning announcements for February 12, 2018. There will be a key club meeting after school tomorrow. All members who are able, please bring pink, red, and purple construction paper and Valentine's Day colored Hershey Kisses. See you Tuesday and get ready to spread some love. Juniors and seniors, it is not too late to put your deposit down for prom. See Mrs. Goodell or Senor Lara for your, your deposits ASAP. Physicals and physical update forms for spring sports are due to the athletic trainer, are due Thursday to the athletic trainer. Please hand in the forms to Nikki in the weight room or to the front office to put in her mailbox. Late forms will not be accepted and we'll be right back after this. On Monday, we'll be having a plain or spicy chicken tender basket with tater tots and warm breadsticks. On Tuesday, we'll be having breakfast for lunch with a new recipe of a breakfast burrito bowl with scrambled eggs, turkey bacon, shredded cheddar cheese, tater tots, and salsa. Wednesday is Valentine's Day. We'll be having fish sticks and warm garlic breadsticks. Thursday is Chinese New Year, and we'll be having General Tso's popcorn chicken with rice. And on Friday, there won't be any school. On February 12, 1912, Xiang Tung the last emperor of China is forced to abdicate during Sun Yat-sen's Republic Revolution. A provisional government was established in its place, ending 260 years of Manchu rule in China and 2,000 years of imperial rule. On February 13, 1633, Italian philosopher, astronomer, and mathematician Galileo arrives in Rome to face charges of heresy for coming up with the theory that the Earth revolves around the Sun. Galileo officially faced the Roman Inquisition in April of the same year and agreed to plead guilty in exchange for a lighter sentence. On February 14, 1962, President John F. Kennedy authorizes U.S. military advisors in Vietnam to return fire if fired upon. On February 15, 1898, a massive explosion of unknown origin sinks the battleship of the USS Maine in Cuba's Havana Harbor, killing 260 of the fewer than 400 American crew members aboard. On February 16, 1959, Fidel Castro was sworn in as the Prime Minister of Cuba after leading a guerrilla campaign that forced the right-wing dictator out into exile. Now back to Nightline News. The next after-school ice cream social will be on Thursday from 3 to 4 p.m. Make sure to stop by and grab some ice cream before you head and to watch the boys and girls basketball senior nights. Two scoops of ice cream with one topping will be $2. Extra toppings are 25 cents each. FYI, this is not the free ice cream social for the freshmen for, women, for winning the food drive. That will be announced to you by your class advisors. If anyone is still interested in bowling club, it's not too late to join. Trips will run Thursdays, to, no, trips will run Tuesdays after school until the end of February. All are welcome to join any week for information and permission slips, please see Mr. Dowling in room 111. February 3rd's next event is pregame party for the girls and boys basketball senior night on February 15th. Music, food, and games will be available in the cafeteria starting at 315, with the basketball game starting at 4 and 530. Please come and have a good time and cheer on your basketball teams as they battle Parsippany Christian. Sign-ups will be during lunch Monday and Tuesday so, can, so we can estimate how many students will be attending. For Nightline News, I'm Matt. And I'm Brittany Duca. Have, Have a great, great day, day Warren Tech. Tech.